What's going on you guys, my name is Brobson, and today I'm happy to introduce you to my new series, the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Shiny Living Pokedex Challenge. Although it's a mouthful, it'll hopefully be a really fun series. I'm mostly doing competitive battle related content in Pokemon Sword and Shield at the moment, and my RuneScape series is at a point where I'm doing mostly AFK activities, so it's a great second monitor thing. And I figured I'd go back to one of the older Pokemon games for some more active shiny hunting fun, as that's always been one of my favorite activities. Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee are actually the games that I've spent the least amount of total hours shiny hunting in, and it's also one of, if not the only game, where a shiny living Pokedex is an actually reasonable and achievable goal, so I figured why not? Let's go big and attempt to complete the shiny living Pokedex. For the uninitiated, a shiny is an alternate colored version of a Pokemon that has a very rare chance of being encountered in the wild. Every species of Pokemon has a shiny version, and they have the same stat ceiling and potential that the non-shinies have. They just look different and have a special sparkly animation each time they're sent out into battle. Rare RNG-based collections are my favorite things to do and grind in video games, so shiny Pokemon are obviously my favorite part of the Pokemon franchise. A living Pokedex is when you get every single evolutionary stage of every Pokemon in the decks simultaneously. This means that instead of just getting one Charmander, evolving it twice into Charizard, and then saying that you've completed all three entries, you instead would need to get three Charmanders, keep one unevolved, evolve one into Charmeleon, and evolve one twice into Charizard so that you simultaneously have all three entries. So the shiny living decks would be when we need to get every evolutionary stage of every shiny Pokemon in the game. The Let's Go games are HD remakes of the original Generation 1 Pokemon games, Red and Blue, for the Nintendo Switch. It takes place in the Kanto region, which has the original 151 Pokemon in its Pokedex. The mythical Pokemon Mew, however, is not obtainable in the Let's Go games, so we have 150 Pokemon that are catchable in-game. All 150 can be legitimately obtained as shinies within the game, so the goal of our series is to get all 150 shiny Pokemon to complete the shiny living Kanto Pokedex. The only rule or restriction for this challenge is that I need to do it 100% solo and self-sufficiently. No online trading or obtaining help from others. The Shiny Living Dex is a really cool Pokemon bucket list item that not many people have completed, and I want to be able to say that I completed it 100% solo, so I will be doing it without any outside help. I'll be streaming 100% of the Shiny Hunts for this series on my Twitch channel, so that I'll have a live reaction and proof of each Shiny as we find it. I'll then compile the Shiny reactions together into progress video uploads here on YouTube to keep track of our progress and hopefully look back on once we have the Dex completed. So, we know we've got 150 shiny Pokemon to catch, but just how rare are the shinies? Well, the base rate of encountering shiny Pokemon in the wild in the Let's Go games is 1 out of 4096, which seems incredibly rare and incredibly daunting, because it is. There are some tools we can use though to help our chances. The shiny charm is an item that triples the odds of encountering shiny Pokemon in the wild. That takes our chances from 1 out of 4096 all the way down to 1 out of 1365, which is way more manageable. From there though, there's also another method in the Let's Go games called the Catch Combo method, which increases the odds of encountering shiny Pokemon even farther. There's another in-game item called the Lore, which makes more Pokemon spawn per minute, as well as further increase shiny rate marginally. When successfully doing the catch combo method with the shiny charm equipped and allure active, the odds of finding a shiny Pokemon in the wild are 1 out of 273. This is a way better number and obviously makes the concept of finding all 150 shinies much more realistic, but keep in mind that it does take a while to do the catch combo method properly and we need to do it over and over again each time we hunt for a new shiny. Also keep in mind that we don't have complete control over which species is going to shine because anything on that route can pop out of the grass as the shiny, so we may end up in situations where we get a bunch of shinies pretty quickly, but they're of Pokemon we already have and don't need, and therefore it takes us a really long time to find the one or two that we still need for that route. The bottom line is, we have a lot of things we can do to make shinies more common, but it's still a pretty ridiculous goal to go for all 150, and it is going to take us a pretty long time to complete. I own both Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, and I completed a full story playthrough and became champion in both versions back when the games came out two years ago, so there won't be any story or playthrough in this series, it'll be exclusively shiny hunting. I've also already obtained the shiny charm in both games, and fully stocked up on lures and pokeballs, so I've got virtually nothing left to do except get out there and start grinding the shinies. Again, I'll be streaming all 150 of the shiny hunts live on my Twitch channel, so you can check the link in the description to follow me on Twitch and hang out to see the shiny reactions live if that's something you're interested in. 
I've also created a playlist for this series here on YouTube, and I'll be adding progress videos showing each of the 150 finds and captures of the shiny, so it should be pretty awesome to archive and look back at when it's fully completed. That's pretty much all I've got for you for this intro video. I more or less just wanted to announce and explain the series and the challenge, and I'm excited to get started, so I'll hopefully have a bunch of new shinies to show off soon. Thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment with feedback letting me know if you're as excited for this as I am, and either way, I hope to see you live on Twitch for some shiny gains. Take it easy, see you next time.